Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Force New Page property to insert a page break after every group in your Microsoft Access reports. Today's question comes from Jack in Manchester, England, one of my Platinum members. Jack says, I just watched your video on report grouping levels, and I've designed a report to give each of my sales rep their lists of calls for the day. It's basically the same thing you designed, but instead of the report being grouped on customers, it's grouped on the sales rep, and the customers that they have to call are in the detail section. Is there any way I can generate this so that each sales rep starts on their own page so they're not all together? Well, yep, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have it so that in your report, you're going to group by the sales rep, and then all of their calls will be underneath that, and each one will start on its own page. We're going to use something called the Force New Page property in your report. Now, this will be an expert level course, which means it's past the beginner stuff, but it's not quite developer. We don't need any programming to do this, but you will have to know how to create report grouping and, and sorting levels, and you'll have to know about relationships and stuff. So if you have not yet watched this video, which is the video that Jack is talking about on report grouping levels, go watch this first, then come on back. And of course, this one's got some prerequisites on its own. Go watch those two and then come on back here and we'll continue. All right, so here's the database we created in the other video. And if you're a gold member, you can go and download it or download this new one, either one, whichever you prefer. And in here, we've got customers and customers have contacts, right? And so we made a report showing each customer with all of their contacts. And that is what we built in the last video, which is right there. I won't print preview that guy. And there it is. But you can see all of the customers show up on the same report, on the same page in the report, right? So if, like Jack is doing, this is a list of sales reps and the calls they have to make, you want to split these off so they're each on their own page. And to do that, let's go into design view. Now, in the other video, we created the customer ID header and footer. This is what groups those things together. In the footer, go to the properties and find the format tab. And right in here, you're going to find a property called force new page that says after this footer is drawn, all right, after it puts this footer together, I want you to force a new page after it. All right, there's after section, there's before section, because you can force a new page before the header, you can force a new page wherever you want. But in this particular case, we're going to force a new page after that section. Okay, close it. Let's close this, save it. And then let's open it back up again. Right click, print preview. And there we go. Okay, there's page one, page two, page three. And now you can see each customer is on their own page. Now, what I would also do for this particular report, since you want to give each one of your sales reps a copy of this, you want that customer contact record to show up top on each page, right? Right now, we have it in the report header, right? So the report header, design view. I'm just going to move that to the page header, and that way it will repeat on each page, right? Just take this stuff up here, slide it down here, and then we can get rid of that. Save it, close it, let's pre print preview it again. And now you can see that that page header will repeat on the top of each page. And each, each one of your sales reps gets their own report and it looks all official and stuff. Now, if you put page numbers down here, they're not gonna restart each group. All right, so let's say, let's say Jim Kirk has four pages with a context. You might want his to say page one, two, three, four. And then the next guy, me, right, mine resets at page one. All right, you can do that with a tiny little bit of code. And if you want to learn that, go watch this video on how to print multiple invoices. It's the same technique, right? The invoice, the order as a whole is the group level. And then the details, the line items on that invoice, that's the detail section. Okay, and I cover how to do that where you reset the page numbering in this video. And if you want to learn more about reports, and specifically, I cover a lot about this Force New Page stuff and the report properties, and we do letter templates and all that. That's my Access Expert Level 6 class. So come and check that out too. I'll put a link to all this stuff down below in the comment section underneath. You can go and click on that and go watch it and let me know what you think. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. Jack, I hope I answered your question, and I hope the rest of you learned something too. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members 
get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.